guys a few days into Boomers camp. What's it been like, um, you know, getting ready for these two games? Nah, so far it's been great, just getting embracing the Boomers culture and meeting some current players and some past players over the last few days. Uh, it's been really good to sort of get on the inside of it and experience it, which has been great. Um, spending time with uh, even past players like uh, David Barlow and, and Kiwi, who have been at United last few years as well, which has been pretty cool as well. Yeah, it's been good um, getting back amongst the Boomers. Uh, you, uh, you, you, you don't forget, but you, you're, you get a bit distanced from how amazing it feels, you know, like being a part of this, this culture and this group and very excited to be back involved and um, meeting new people and reconnecting with old old teammates and old coaches and stuff. Uh, it's been great, yeah. And I guess just, does it, does it feel a bit sort of extra special, obviously you two shed the court so much this season for United, uh, you know, getting to do this together, both coming back into the Boomers team, obviously for your first game, Mason, you, know, you returning to the Boomers team, Ice. You know, what's that been like, being able to share this experience together and of course with Dino and even our high performance manager, Steve Catapult? Yeah, it's been great. Um, familiar faces are always good and uh, yeah, I think coming into this environment, it, it can be you know, a little daunting, it can be a really high pressure and high intensity, so having some familiar faces and people you're really comfortable with, like, will always help. Um, for me, like, and, and for Horse, I'm sure, having our high performance manager, like, know our bodies really well, and come, that's, that's like a big thing for us as well, then our coach, knowing how we play and having that trust already is um, is a good thing for us, for sure. Yeah, I, I like, the only thing that he didn't say is, just having spent the last 12 months together at United, you can sort of see the journey that it takes to, you know, put the green and gold on. We've both had our own individual challenges behind the scenes and things you got to do to get on the floor day to day. And uh, we've both put a lot of work in our bodies over the last 12 months to get us into a position where we can put the green and gold on, which has been awesome. And horse for yourself, obviously making your boomers, your senior boomers debut, um, getting your jersey presented yesterday by Barlow and Dave Anderson. Can you take me through that moment? It's a pretty special moment. Yeah, like they're both pretty, uh, pretty forthcoming with their stories, playing for the boomers and and what it brought out in them and what they most loved about it. So hearing that side of it was really, really cool. And then, you know, having two of my uh, NBL championship teammates present me with my first Boomers jersey is something I'll, I'll remember forever. So it's pretty special. And obviously two massive games coming up. Um, you know, hopefully a huge crowd here at State Basketball Centre, hoping for a, a lot of United fans to come through and show you two a lot of love. Yeah, uh, there were even some yesterday at the, the little training thing we did. Um, there were, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, no, there okay. were. There were. You, I thought you were looking at me. No, like, no, no, I was no, listening to you. I was listening to you. <laughs> uh, yeah, there were a few there yesterday, and I imagine we'd ha we'll have some fans in the crowd you know, this week. Um, yeah, I don't know. We're, we're sort of on home soil, I guess. Well, everyone is, but we're in, uh, we're in Melbourne, and it's like our little home. So, um, yeah, I hope everyone comes out and cheers us on. There's a lot of, a lot of Melbourne United influence in this team, so come along, and I'm sure it'll feel comfortable for everyone. Yeah. Second, second. <laughs>